Hi, my name's Donna. My husband Danny's running the camera today. We're here in upstate South Carolina. We're members of the Oconee County Beekeepers Association. And our club had the opportunity to participate in a hive scale project. They went out and looked at different uh, setups and they selected ours. So these are our hives. We actually have some honeybee friends flying around today as well. Uh, last week, which was Saturday, January 25th, 2014, Paul Vonk, who is the project engineer for the Hive Scale project, came over from Clayton, Georgia, and he brought the scales that are part of the, um, the project. We had some members of the club come over, uh, Jay Bobo, Jeff Blackwell, Jack McLean, and then we had Layla and Josh Burgess and their little girl, Lyra. They all came and helped set up this project, so we appreciate their help. Thank you very much. Um, I want to just show you a little bit about how this is set up. We built this box here to house it, to protect it, because even though the unit is in a plastic case, it's not waterproof. So we built this just to, to insert it in to protect it. But I want to show you the components of the case. This is the computer part. And then here is the actual reading of the scales that goes to the white scale part here. So you can see that weight is 129.9 today. Then there are also some wires. The yellow wire goes to the scale. It's connected underneath. The white wire is actually an Ethernet cable and it also has 48 volts of electricity that runs through and into the house and it plugs into the wall. So it gives electricity to the scale and it also takes the information into the computer. Then we have these two sensors here. This is the outside sensor and it's mounted up underneath the hive so that it can stay dry, but it gives us temperature and humidity readings for the outside of the hive. Then we have this sensor that will go on the inside of the hive. As you can see, we've had cold weather. We have our um, hives insulated right now, but when the weather breaks and it's warm enough, we'll open the hives and we'll put this in so that we'll get readings from the inside of the hive as well. Again, this will tell us the temperature and the humidity. We're really excited and thankful to be a part of this project. The Hive Scale project is going to help us with learning more about bees and what they do. It's going to help us measure the nectar flow and hopefully it'll help find out what's killing our bees. We're very thankful to be a part of this. What we'll do next is I'm going to go into the house, get on the computer and show you how you can access the website and see exactly what's going on on the Hive here. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to access hivetool.net on the computer so that you can see what's going on inside the beehive. First of all, you just type hivetool.net here in your URL bar, and you don't have to type www, just put in hivetool.net, and it will bring you to this screen, the home screen for the entire site. You'll see all these different tabs, and I do encourage you to go and look through those. Uh, but for this demonstration, we're going to look under the View Hives tab. And if you click on that, you'll see three selections. We're going to select the last one, which is the Summary List of Hives. So click on Summary List of Hives. And you'll see that there are different statuses here. Um, we're going to scroll down until we get to Oconee, and you'll see that the status is online. So we have Oconee, Oconee County Beekeepers Association, and we are online. We're located in Wahala, South Carolina, and you can see a small version of the chart here. If you click on Oconee, it'll open up another screen, and you'll see the variables within the hive. You can see here that we're in Wahala, South Carolina, the elevation of the hive, and this is just raw data. Um, we're actually hive number SC006, and you can see where it was installed last week, some variations in the temperature. Uh, the blue and the green are the temperatures. Uh, the red line is the scale. We had a little bit of a blurt last week, and the scale um, stopped working, but you can see it's back in 
in working order now and you can see the weight which is if you remember when we were looking at the scale outside it was 129.9 you can see we started out at 133 and today the graph shows the same thing as what we saw outside again the colors here the green is the hive ambient temperature which would be the outside temperature the blue is the hive temperature but as I mentioned outside we've had cold weather so we haven't put the inside uh, the sensor inside the hive yet so uh, when that is in place there will be a greater difference in these two temperature temperatures uh, you can see scroll on down uh, there are a couple of pictures of the hives it tells you what type of hive we have, what type of frame, the location. You can actually click on Google Maps and go out to the location. It tells you the orientation of the hives. And then the comments. Um, we are, have been encouraged to make comments anytime we do anything different to manipulate the hive, whether it's add sugar water or um, check the hive, we make notations here and that will be available for you to see too. And then again we have the map, the Google map that tells exactly where the hive is located. I hope you find this to be helpful. Uh, again you can go to hivetool.net to get to the main menu and then select our hive through choosing Oconee or there's a shortcut you can simply type in hivetool.net slash Oconee and it will take you straight to this page.